Hello, welcome back to the fish locker out on the shore. Now look at that. Look at the clarity down there. Some people might immediately recognise the area where I'm at. I'll show you real quick. I came out for a walk here a couple of months ago with my little boy James. We came out and wrecked it out four times like this. We had a little bit of a fish but I was mainly checking out to see what the coastline was like for a dive. Well the clarity today, amazingly, looks pretty good. See that? I don't know how well you can see but that water there is about eight to ten feet deep. You can see the little gullies can't you? Coincidentally when looking for ras fishing marks you look for gullies like that. Today we've got a westerly wind so it's coming off the land that's why it's very very calm inshore that's why I've picked this type of mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down have a little walk along the beach see about getting changed and we'll go and see what the water's like. Now it is still cold now water temperature is about eight degrees I've got a five millimetre soap, but we'll see how we get on. Let's go! Yeah, one of the things you might notice immediately here is the colour of the sand. Now, the other places where I've been diving, it's been like somewhere abroad. It's been like crystal clear water and bright white sand. Look here now. The sand's almost black. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go and get wet. I like that rumbling sound of the sand and the stones and the waves. I hadn't been in the water more than 30 seconds before I found this fella. That is probably a sign of things to come. fair sized male spider crab. Now back you go. Swimming along this just caught my eye. What is it? Well that's not meant to be there and neither is that. I think a kayaker has had a pretty bad day at some point don't you?
This common sea urchin was a wonderful shade of purple. Very stand out compared to the many pale pink ones that I saw. Let's get you back down where you're coming from. Now this was a first for me. This sea urchin is actually spawning. And I thought I was having a good day. Let's leave him to it. Seeing those empty claw shells was a clear sign that there was a peeled lobster nearby. This guy under here was soft, he had just peeled out of those shells. They are fast when they're making a run for it aren't they? Far too small to keep but still nice to see. This guy had proper small man syndrome. He was so aggressive. Go on, go home. I'll see you when you're bigger. These delicate looking little structures are actually the back end of a brown or crevice sea cucumber. And a nosy Tom Pop Lenny. This interesting creature is a black sea cucumber, also called cotton spinner, and you will soon see why. As a defence mechanism, these guys fire out a sticky white thread. Let's put you back before you have a chance to recharge. What a mess.
Right. <laughs> it, it might look warm, but I'm telling you, <laughs> it's cold. <sighs> I am absolutely frozen. I checked my watch. I was in the water for four hours and 17 minutes. Now, um, I got down one way. And it was clear until I got into open water and it was just like hitting fog. The plankton has really come in on this last tide, so this is probably going to be my last dive for a couple of months. I did find like loads of spider crabs and loads of amazing sea urchins. And in and along that quarry wall there, there was some amazing caves. They, to be honest, they were a little bit spooky for me. I did see a couple of conger eels right at the back. I did find two nice lobsters, but to be honest, I was that cold, I just couldn't get them out. I only, one of them, well, my hands now. One of them was at the back of a cave and he only had my little hook. So I couldn't reach it and the other one was in a crevice. I get my hands in there and get my hands round it and I, honestly I just didn't have the dexterity to get hold of it. So yeah, even though it looks nice and clear, it's not. <laughs> it's not very warm. I'm going to get myself back up to the van now, get changed and get warmed up. My wife's actually bought me an early birthday present and I'm going to try it out, I'll show you when I get back to the run. Yeah, let's go. There we go, I'm dry, I'm partially changed. I'm still not very warm, but I'm on the way there. This is my early birthday present from my wife. Now, other than it looking like a Batman suit, they are quite good this. It's, uh, my, my hands still haven't warmed up yet to use the zip. I can't get it down. But it's like towel material on the inside. We do like a practical present in our house. Yeah, what I was going to say was early on when I got in the water, I did find a phone and I did find a paddle. And I was about to say, whoever it is who's lost them, and if you see it in the video, contact me. But when I've got back to the beach now, someone's nicked the paddle. So I've still got your phone. I'm sorry I can't give you your paddle back because someone's nicked it. But yeah. If anybody recognises or knows that they've lost a phone in this place, because if you have, you'll know, contact me because I've got your phone. I think there's a bit of water in the bag, but I don't know. You might want it for sentimental reasons. Anyway, look at this now. Stunning, isn't it? I hope you've enjoyed joining me. All the very best. Take it easy.